Hey, bus drivers, Ryan here from SmartTag. In this video, you'll learn how SmartTag works during your morning bus routes. Let's take a look. Our pre-trip is complete and we've left the bus depot. And as soon as your bus starts moving, your tablet switches to this screen. We call this drive mode. Think of it as locked or safe mode. And here's how it works. Anytime your bus is in motion, the GPS device in your tablet recognizes this and your tablet will stay locked on this screen. Our jobs as bus drivers is to transport our kids safely. So we can't mess with the tablet while the bus is moving. Even though your tablet is locked, you still have very useful info to guide you along your route. Your current route tier is listed at the top. And below that, the number of students currently on your bus. The current time is here, in large, easy to read font. This next part is pretty cool. As you drive your bus route, your upcoming stop is shown right here. And the scheduled stop time for that stop, here. This is the number of students I have to drop off at my upcoming stop. I'm currently headed to pick up students, so that number is zero for now. Now let's head to our first stop. When you arrive at a bus stop and secure your bus, students tag their smart tags to the card reader as they reach the top of the steps. When a student touches their card onto the reader, you'll hear a chime on your tablet. Their name and photo will pop up, indicating they are authorized to board, and the next student can tag on immediately after. Once all students at the stop are loaded onto your bus, you can head to your next stop. Like before, when your bus starts moving, your tablet will switch to drive mode. But drive mode looks a little bit different for this upcoming stop. That's a stop note that our router has added to help us out. Sometimes you'll arrive at a stop and the first student to board doesn't have their smart tag ready to scan. Here's what you can do. Tap anywhere on the screen to get out of drive mode and this will pull up your roster. Notice how your tablet helps you out. Anytime you arrive at a pickup stop, it only shows the students who normally ride at this pickup stop. These two students normally ride the bus, but only one of them is here this morning, and he forgot his smart tag. I'll tap load next to his name, then confirm, and now I'm ready to head to my next pickup stop. When you're at a pickup stop, your roster will list students according to their stop assignment, like this but you can tap this name tab to get an alphabetical list of your entire roster. Any students you've already loaded on your bus will be listed at the bottom. And the orange color next to their name indicates that you had to manually load them as they boarded the bus. Now we've arrived at the elementary school and this red box tells us how many students we need to unload here at the school. Your students tag off the bus and are removed from your on-bus roster. A red countdown banner at the top updates as your students tag off. This tells you how many students you have left to unload. When the last student for this route tier tags off the bus, your tablet will automatically switch to your second route tier. In this example, my tablet switched to my middle school route tier. Before you leave the elementary school, walk your bus to check for backpacks, lunch pails, and sleeping kiddos. Now I can head to my first pickup stop for the second route tier. As I leave the elementary school, drive mode shows my upcoming stop. And I can load my middle school students at each of their stops. That's how your morning routes work. Thanks for watching.